Hello everybody. When you see Tracy Frames on your screen, it's all good news. Once again, it's high school life in your midst with the amazing content, Know Your History. Thanks to everyone for subscribing and liking to our videos as well. Continue to subscribe, like and expect more from us. Today, we'll be talking about the slave trade. I hope you have not heard about the Picaro slave trade. Lots of people do not know about this. So stay tuned as I explain into details about this place. High School Life. <laughs> okay, so now to the Picaro Slave Camp. This was a place they collected people and then saved them there as slaves. This place lasted from 1704 and ended in the year 1845. When the whites arrived here to trade with us, they started trading for human beings. They started collecting people from the southern part, which included the Bono and the Ashanti people. This lasted till the 17th century. By that time, they had lots of people from the southern part and hadn't yet reached the northern part. This was when a man decided to help them out by collecting strong people for them to serve them as slaves. They agreed and signed a contract with this man. He then went to the northern part, which we all know, to call them Swim for. He went there and convinced the people that he worked with the whites and then these whites were gods. They agreed and then went with him. He matched them to the whites and then sold them. He collected guns, gold, diamonds and then other stuff in return. Later on, the people found out and got angry, thereby he was abolished from the town. He came back and then collected weapons from these white people to go for more people from the northern part to serve, to serve as slaves. When he came back, he stayed at a place close to Haga, which we have talked about it already. He then went to the farm and then shot at one of the family members when they hunt or go for farming so that you get frightened and follow him to the whites and serve as slaves as well. Some more Africans signed contracts with these whites because they believe they had lots of money from going for people and then bringing them to serve as slaves. These Africans became the master of this slave trade. Hmm. Why should Africans go against each other? They fed the slaves with cooked maize without salt or any sugar. And where they placed it for these slaves to eat was very terrible. And how even these slaves got to get water was trouble for them. Because there was no river that provided water for the slaves. They had a rock that provided water and then it is believed to date. This rock still provides water for them. This rock also served as drum for the people. And then they strike it at different places with the stone, which provided different sounds to them. Lately, and still, this rock also play the same sound when you strike at it different from different places. The most terrible thing is that when these slaves try to escape, they will tie them and then place them on a rock and allow them to face the sunrise from east to west. This wasn't so easy because it was the sunny part of Ghana. Some slaves hit themselves with rocks just to end their life because they were suffering a lot and they couldn't handle it. These slaves were matched by the slave masters, which was Africans, to about 150 kilometers just to sell them at the Salaga slave market. This man who first established the Picaro slave camp and signed contracts with the whites was called Bagao, which means bush man. This man is believed to have learned many languages and then understand them as well. He could speak many languages including the English language. And he had drugs which he added to the food of these slaves to make them forget where they are coming from and then go back to where they are from. Those who died at that time have been buried at the Picaro slave trade and there are a lot of things to discover over that place, such as the rock which they were punished, 
the, where the slaves met and the rock that served as water for these slaves. So go there and check it out sometime when you have a free time. I believe you have heard and learned a lot about this place and thereby you will subscribe to our channel and follow us for more. I go by the name Tracy. <laughs>